everyone, and welcome to... Watching Gravity Falls for the first time. Welcome That's back. right. We are talking about the 16th episode of Gravity Falls, Carpet Diem. Carpet Diem. Just watched it, and so our reaction video has... I think there's there's a, there's a lot of like little things that I, I think are going to yes. become big things. This is a great episode. What did you think of this episode? This episode was a lot of fun, and I was really excited because they, when they go into that room with the the, the main plot of this is that the uh, the twins, the <laughs> Dipper and Mabel, become dissatisfied living in the same space. Uh, Seuss finds a mysterious room that's that's been sort of hidden away, and uh, and in that room that they want to have as you know they're going to fight over it for the episode. To, so that Dipper wants the room to himself, Mabel wants the room to herself, and then right. there's the the switcheroo. The switcheroo right. happens, but amidst all that, uh, uh, Grunkle Stan finds this pair of glasses, yeah. and he kind of puts it away. And uh, and then later on in the episode, he's sitting watching TV and kind of frowning and not really paying attention to the TV. He's yeah. looking at the glasses and he he, he hides them away again. Yeah. And these glasses, as you know, we've been talking about the uh, the, the time whatever, travel episode. The we talked about the time travel episode where Grunkle Stan, apparently Grunkle Stan, yeah. uh, was was wearing glasses that glasses. W- that looked similar to this. And the the wheel that we keep looking back at uh, has that pair of glasses that we've wondered, you know, what what does that have to do with? Yeah. Anything? Well, we thought, for a while we thought it was Toby Determined, the reporter. Right, but we, but I kept saying there's like those glasses. They don't look like anybody's glasses, but it's these gotta are be their the actual grandfather, not their great uncle. So you think that your theory I is think that there's a there's body a switch switch mm-hmm. with with the great uncle and their grandfather or their grandmother? I'm not really sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's probably grandfather grit, like their twin brothers, and they switched bodies. Gotcha. Because we already got the twin theme. I going guess it on. could be another Grunkle. It could be another great it uncle. Another I never, grunkle. I never thought of that. I'm just assuming that that there's going to be a grand. I'm assuming that there's, yeah, that there's a great, yeah. there's a grandfather. Yeah. It seems like Grunkle Stan had a look of regret while he was sitting in front of the television set. Right. It did seem like that. And that's not like Grunkle Stan, no. especially because there was an episode of Baby Fight. Right. On the TV, and he was he was very enthralled in that. Yeah, he was excited about all the fights before, and then and then he seems very distracted, yeah. uh, holding those glasses. Part of the episode w- uh, was involved sleepovers, right? So there's this. Yeah. Uh, uh, did you like seeing Candy and Grinda back? Yes, back I in like action? them. They're fun characters. I feel like um, I don't know if they're the best influence. I don't know if Mabel's the best influence, but they're like you know they're like average teenage girls or like teenage girls. I'd yeah. Say. They're nice. They're yeah, I know. They're doing bad. like kind of stereotypical things. Yeah. Uh, and those things are fun. So, yes. like, Seuss has a, a good line in this one uh, to, to to talk about his adventure when he when he turns into a pig and, yeah. and he sees a mud puddle and he says, Do I dare live the cliche? Yeah. And rolls around in the mud puddle. And that's kind of what and the girls are doing. It. Yeah. And the, at the sleepover, the girls are basically living the cliche. Yeah. Uh, of doing makeovers and playing sort of date board games yeah, and, and reading, and reading the, romance novels. Yeah. Teen teen boy not magazines and things yeah. like that. Do do you recall like ever doing that kind of stuff with your sleepovers? Oh, I did. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, like I remember we had this is maybe TMI. We had one of those books gave us like the four of us a book and we it was it was like your body is going through changes and we had not even i think we must have been like 11 and we were like what the fuck <laughs> like just like opening this book and like i remember cuz like i had already known like i had, i feel like i had known from like a really young age mm-hmm. you and knew like, about the birds I, and the bees how I babies knew about are made the birds and the bees and how babies were made and so my friends were like what and then i like went into this fucking talking presentation of like <laughs> Yeah, I already know this stuff. Look, this is how the world works. And I remember, like, it was like fun games, fun games. And then we did that, and we got to that page. And I was like, yeah, so like this and this. And like, I was like, yeah, I know about this. Stuff. Let me teach you guys this about is, it. This is what happens. They did, they could not comprehend it 
And I was like, that's weird. Like, why? You guys don't know about this stuff? And I was just, like, nonchalantly destroying their so, entire childhood. So, <laughs> it's just so like, did, yeah, this is how it works, you know? Like, did the, did the, the sleepover festivities resume at a certain point, or did they just, like, did, cry? We did, but we went to sleep. We, <laughs> they had to sleep like, on that. They had to, like, mm, I gotta sleep on that one. Like, couldn't yeah. take it. I felt bad. Yeah, yeah so, so so poor Mabel when she's inside Dipper's body, she gets the birds and the bee lecture from Grunkle Stan. Which is what remind like the fact that it's at a sleepover and like it's a girl's sleepover and then like oh she and gets it's a, and it's a book destroyed. that he's going through. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, the the book's called like Why Am I Sweaty? <laughs> Why am I so sweaty? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, th another funny book title was the uh, sort of the Hardy Boys kind of book that Dipper was reading co was called yes. uh, The Case of the Caper Case Caper. <laughs> Case of, what is it? Is a caper like a spice? Is that like, Yeah, it's, it's a, a little, little spice. Yeah. yeah. Do you? What are those? Is I don't it like eat a vegetable? Them. I assume that I think you there's like something you put on, on like. Salmon, right? I think if you're British, you put them on your fish, maybe. Yeah. Uh, are you familiar with other movies or TV shows that have a switcheroo kind of thing? Um, all I could think of during this episode was the John Mulaney sketch of switcheroo. What can um, you but do I do know. Switcheroo? Did it do it? <laughs> when the mom turns it. Yeah. Stuff, bro, that's wild. There's a lot of switcheroo like movies, like Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday is kind of, of from my, well, actually before my generation, but that's what mm -hmm. I grew up watching. Freaky and then Friday. there was also a lot of... There's a bunch of Disney Channel ones. There's yeah, a lot of silly TV shows, any sort of imaginative TV show. It's kind of a trope that they do. The one yeah. I remember best is uh, there's a, a Gilligan's Island episode. Yeah, where, there's, where there's, there's an episode in Stargate where they do it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, what? I, mean, I can't believe yeah. it. Except it's like horrifying because he, like the one of the main characters switches with like an old dying man. Oh no! And he's trapped in an old man's body, so that's pretty scary. Um, one last thing that I noticed that uh, we've seen in the background before, but it, this was a little more prominent. So mm -hmm. there's a ship painting that's in, I think it's in uh, the twins' it's in room, the room, yeah, and it's in the new room as well, the hidden room uh, mm -hmm. as well. And remember Stan's mysterious tattoo that we see. It kind of has like some waves and we don't know yeah. what, you know, what the shape is. But I, I, my prediction is it's going to be something like a ship that's represented in the, um, yeah. in the, in the painting. I wonder if something, I guess the house isn't really shaped like a sh the top of a ship or anything like mm -hmm. that, but it'd be interesting to find out that, you know, the mystery shack was a ship. Was a ship? Yeah, it's like the, it could all the be. boards are from a ship or something like that. Yeah, like um, what's that? Maybe the ship, ship starts with the letter H because there's the H in the stained glass. It could be. Yeah, there's a lot of stained glass, which you know you did see on a lot of pirate ships. Yeah. Or like the the cabin of a pirate ship or yeah. a charter ship. Yeah, oh, I'm getting the, um, the sunlight is on me. The sunlight. Sunlight, I gotta. Be healed. <laughs> ah. Um. Yeah, so that's it's definitely interesting. There could be something more to the ship mentality. I don't know. Probably look into that. All right. I th I think we've plumbed the depths enough of this episode. Yeah. Anything yeah, else you want to say about it? No, I don't think so. It was a fun. Well, I like the episodes where the the twins have a conflict and they they bond a bit more by the end of the episode. Yeah. That's, when they that's when they come get. into the hey, you want to have a sleepover? Yeah, that's because great. it seemed like oh, Dipper's gonna have his own room now, but then it's like yeah. he doesn't want to, you know. Which also could be leading us up to something because we don't know what happens when he sleeps in that room. True, that's true. Because I don't trust that room. Something's up. I wouldn't want to stay in that room. No, because I would not either. The the carpet was experiment seventy eight, so that means so there's where a lot are of all other the other experiments? experiments? Yeah, it's like Stitch is six two six. Yeah, there's so you know a bunch. bunch more. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody. All right. Well, that was <laughs> us discussing another episode of watching Gravity Falls for the first time. Yes, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye bye. See you soon.